Cameron is doing wonderful work. Round two, schedule 12. And they come right back out going. A nice up cut inside by Hennigan. And again, they are on the ropes, and again, they are working. And Hennigan is not backing up at all. He'll play in close if Dennis wants to. Again, Hennigan taller, presenting some problems, and at least as strong as Alexio, it appears. Alexio, Alexio is not a tall, not a big heavyweight. He weighed 202 pounds today. Hennigan came in 200 pounds, but he's got that reach. How you score that first round, John? They gave the first round to Daryl Hennigan, 10 to 9, based on the strength of those two right hand punches. And a, that kick was blocked. The crowd reacting to it, but it was blocked by Alexio's glove. There was a follow kick into the ribs by Hennigan that landed. Alexio just landed his own left. And again, Alexio, who has his roots as a boxer, figures to be pretty good in hand techniques in close. But Hennigan is scoring. Going to double up on the kick there by Alexio. You know, I kind of expected Hennigan to be moving a lot in this ring, to use this ring. It's a big ring. Try to score points and see about working on ring by decision. But he's been standing in a toe-to-toe -to -toe matching power with Alexio, and that's not something you see from anybody. Well, you know, at the press conference, too, uh, Dennis was saying that uh, he didn't have a lot of respect for the people that Hennigan had fought and the title that he held. And he was saying that uh, by intimation that he really didn't have a lot of respect for Hennigan. And I think Hennigan, who said nothing about it and would not comment to us on that subject afterwards, with a good right hand there, another right hand inside, does Hennigan land? He was saying, Hennigan saying that, uh, I'll, you know, we'll take care of it Monday night. Hennigan is uh, probably just a little red around the collar right now. You know, he's very quiet. He conducts himself very well. There's Daryl Hennigan. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Down to the end of round two, schedule 12. And we are in the corner there of Daryl Hennigan. Robert Taylor training him, putting some water into him there. Daryl Hennigan, six feet, three inches tall, just lands that round kick up beside the head there without any effort at all. It's no, not difficult for him to kick to the head level there. And we're going to see Alexio throw kicks to the body as Hennigan comes in with those body kicks of his own. And again, if there is an intimidation factor anywhere in this fight, I fail to see it, John. Alexio there with Al Lagardo as he comes out for round number three. This is to unify the heavyweight championship of the world in kickboxing. Alexio coming out and putting pressure right away immediately. This becomes the Alexio that we know. He will try to dig a hole in your ribs like he was going for oil, but he has to answer that spinning back kick to the belly by Hennigan. Good kick into the ribs by Alexio. Hennigan answers. Alexio working on the ropes into the body. Hennigan pushes him off. Dennis is not used to that. Well, these are both outstanding athletes, big men, strong men, but extremely fast with their kicks and powerful with their kicks and very effective with their kicks. And while a lot of people thought Dennis Alexio a prohibitive favorite in this fight, uh, that is proving not to be the case. That's a glancing blow off the gloves that did not land on Hennigan. The crowd reacting, but it was not there. Let's take a look at the scorecard, John. How have you got it at this point? I gave the first round to Hennigan. I gave the second round to Alexio, so I've got it 19 and 19 after only two rounds. Usually, by this point, John, Alexio is in total control of the fight. You wonder where he is, uh, where his head is at the moment on this, because he's, this is something he is not used to and has not ever seen that we know of. Alexio came in and put a lot of pressure on Hennigan in the first part of this round. I think he helped to wear him down and maybe try to finish him early, but Hennigan weathered it very Good well. Good left hook by Alexio and a foul left hook, and Hennigan answers right back. Hennigan took two solid left hooks there and came fighting. That is also something Dennis Alexio is not used to, and Alexio is having to get used to a lot of different things tonight. That left hand landed but did no damage. Again, Alexio on the ropes. Inside of 10 in round three for the heavyweight championship of the world. Well now, good check, baby. You saw that 
shit coming? He's starting to telegraph everything. He's starting to telegraph shit. That's what he's doing. Stay right on top of the Take deep breath. Let him breathe. Let him breathe. Come on. Now, plenty of time, man. Two minutes in here. Take no deep breath. When he lays on your hands, just fuck him. Alexio throwing a good left right. The right hand just glances off, but the left hook lands solid. That Daryl Hennigan felt that one all the way down to his toes. And Alexio comes right back with another, but takes a right hand from Hennigan. Hennigan doing a good job of fighting out of trouble once Alexio landed the big left hook. Hennigan, of course, from uh, Quebec, Canada. Down here, and we know there are a lot of uh, his fans in Canada watching this fight. As they go to the ropes right above our broadcast position here, Alexio in the multicolored pants, Daryl Hennigan in the black pants with the red stripes down the side. And again, both fighters have from the opening bell thrown the heavy blows, heavy leather, heavy kicks. And you wonder how long guys this size can match this pace, John. Not long, not long. This fight has started off at a very fast pace. It's good. Again, both of these guys are used to knocking people out. They're not accustomed to going 10, 11, 12 rounds. Alexia landed a good left and right on the ropes, and instead of falling down, Hennigan came back and landed two of his own. You're right, John. I think something has to happen in this fight. Fairly soon, these guys are just banging too hard. And again, Hennigan takes the kick and comes right back. He is not a bashful man. Right hand in there, a glancing blow by Alexio. Hennigan lands with an up uppercut underneath. We talked earlier about Eric Petrovsky, how he tends to go out and set a pace and pick it up as each round wears on. And he learned that, I think, from Dennis Alexio. Alexio is a guy that has always done that. Wearing people down, doesn't necessarily knock them out with a one Big hit. right hand to Hennigan, and Hennigan might have sagged a little bit there. He might be in some trouble. Alexio underneath with the right hand, now the shot into the ribs. And a right hand crack fist. Spinning back fist by Alexio, drop Hennigan. He is right back up before the referee can turn around. But it looked earlier in that exchange that Hennigan might have been shaken up by the big right hand from Alexio. Let's see if Alexio tries to close it. In he comes. Hennigan firing back the shot into the ribs. The round kick by Alexio, and Hennigan counters with the right, but he's hurt, John. Alexio is a big finisher, always has been. He gets him in trouble, he wears him down, and he finishes him. Hennigan managing to hang on, though he's hanging on. It looks like he'll be able to make it through this round. And he does survive the round, and Dennis throws a couple of punches and kicks after. And frankly, that is the kind of thing that uh, Dennis has done in the past. It's the kind of thing you hate to see, but the fact of the matter is he has done that in the past. As we go into the corner of Daryl Hennigan, let's listen in. Dennis Alexio gets in, he spins around, it lands on the shoulder and glances. Actually, that, that punch did not land really solidly. If he'd have landed solidly, Daryl Hennigan would not have come up from that. You see this, is going to bounce off of his shoulder. Boom, it glances up and hits him on the head. You know, you wonder, though, right before this sequence, there was a, a right hand by Alexio that, that just shook Hennigan and putting him against, put him against the ropes. I think that demonstrates the power of Dennis Alexio when he hits him on the shoulder and then hits him, glances up to the head and knocks Daryl Hennigan down. Round five, Alexio goes right into Hennigan's corner without waiting at all. Hennigan comes out of his corner pushing, and we'll see what Hennigan, how much repair work they were able to do on Hennigan in that corner. Alexio up against the ropes above our broadcast position, turns around, Hennigan gets tangled up in the ropes and is looking a little tired and a little the worse for wear in here, John. Oh, he really looks exhausted. This round is, of course, Extremely important round here. If Hennigan can manage to make it through this sixth round, he stands a chance, but he's awfully tired. He's awful beaten up at this and, point. And, and Alexio knows it. Alexio is digging for oil in those ribs. And this is a tough one for Hennigan. He's wobbled, and Alexio is going for the kill. A left hand by Alexio pushes him into the corner, stays on him. Hennigan lands the big right, but Alexio is doing all the heavy punching. And again, no, no small amount of heart on Daryl Hennigan, but he's in some trouble right now. That big high kick partially blocked, but it landed. The spin kick, and Hennigan gets out of the way. 